Did I play one more last night? I thought I stopped at a hundred. It looks like there's an eighth in here that I don't remember. Hey, I did. I played more. I was doing alright, and then I was like, alright, let's push it two more, and then I lost <laughs> lost more points. Darn it. Because I played a little bit off stream to try and get some points back. Yesterday, I don't know, it wasn't clicking. It wasn't clicking. It was not my day. The the rookie. What's up, Captain Sweet Roll? What's up, plain dumb luck? You were fast, dude. You were here really quick. I wasn't even reading this yet yet. What's up, Altine Gracino? Each of the ways to get good. Well, it's gonna take a while. It's it's not gonna be quick. What about Hearthstone? Got me burned out. Well, felt like I was doing the same thing I had been doing before again. It got to a point where it felt like a lot of the times my decisions and stuff like that didn't matter as much. But then, um, there's a lot of reasons for that, right? But also, I think the biggest thing that made me get burned out in Hearthstone is the game's just very different from, you know... The game I liked. They got new people making Hearthstone now. Not the same. Oh yeah. Anytime anyone brings up Hearthstone, that's one more day where it's going to take extra time to get unburned out, you know? I'm like re-exposing... Re sun to my sunburn every time I hear Hearthstone. So if you want me to play Hearthstone, you gotta you gotta not mention it. You gotta keep it on the down low. So I forget about it and then then maybe I'll come back to it with love in my heart. Does uh TFT make you feel like decisions are more important? For the time being, yeah. I don't know, there's a little bit of that, right, Rick? There's um as you get more in tune with the game, you start seeing all the the, the magic behind the curtain and if you get really in tune with the game and you play it a lot you start realizing wait a minute most of this is just bullshit rng but i'm not at that point yet i i still fall for all the smokes and whistles so for me it's like every decision matters it's so important i'm only losing because of me you're still doing the flickering are you kidding me maybe i would make a lower resolution maybe that'll that'll work Well, this is not going to work. Okay. That was a dumb idea. Wait, did you fix the flickering, though? No, no, okay. I was supposed to figure out how to fix this earlier. Dude, A bomb. Where's my brand? They love redeemed units, though. Missing out on these redeemed units just kind of feels bad. How good is A-Bomb, anyway? I mean, I have a decent item for it. You get it early, right? But I'd like to pick up these if I could. Alright, we have full A-Bomb. Dude, a full A-Bomb at creeps? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I want to keep this though. So it's two, four, five. So we're at seven gold. So we get three gold here. We're sending them away. There's only two. All right. We need to end a brawler, a spellweaver, or a legionnaire. Legionnaire probably because this is two star, right? You want your synergies to affect your other units that are big. Oh, power up your two stars. Mm hmm. Put 
We're not using this. Mick Zippo, welcome back for 24 months. Appreciate the continued support. Glad to have you back. I'm looking for IE or components of Hurricane, right? Oh. The spear was like touching him. Take the Shadow Sword for Forgotten stuff. You could just build Deathblade on it and start hedging towards Rangers. Not a lot of these. I didn't. It's going to be wacky pivoting into Rangers from here. But I guess Shadow Deathblade and regular Deathblade are like the same thing, right? Minus 20% maximum health. It actually does sound like a bummer. Alright, we'll go regular Deathblade. The problem with regular Deathblade, though, is it would commit us into. Pretty much having to play Nightbringer Rangers. But maybe we're cool with that. And so darkness, I Three, four, five, eight. I'm gonna do it. Get that in there as well. I probably would have won the fight if I just had the chain vest on him, right? What's up, Carnage? 63? Going, man. That last guy was just really strong. Ah, oh, you know what I should have started building towards is Velkaz probably is the way to go out of this. Yeah, and that's should have been building Velkaz. Now I'm playing I've committed to Rangers behind this. That's kinda awkward. Two star clan. I'm probably just getting rid of these. Right, we we're set for this stage. We're just trying to interest. We have our guy already. We don't even need to pre-level. We could just sell these and pre-level as well, right? And then we held the Legionnaire. Maybe four Legionnaire or something at some point. Kind of want the Brawler, actually. Brawler's probably the next synergy I want to get online. Yeah, I'll take the brawler. We're looking for something to go with the chain or another ranger item for Aphelios, maybe. And no gloves, pretty good. If I could build a Shadow Hurricane, that'd be ideal, because that could work for both parts of the comp and really activate this Death Blade. If I want Bow or that Shadow Cloak. Okay. I'm looking to try and put a Hurricane on one of my um, units here. One of my Abomination units, because the Abomination units give their Abomination or give their item to the big Abomination at the end. We want him to be juiced. We want him to be swimming in the sauce. Pretty fun game. It's not that hard to get into, actually. It looks really scary and complicated, but if you've played other auto battlers before, it's quite similar. And they have um, other modes and stuff that can be easier to get into than just standard mode. I think hyper roll is pretty cool.
the mode where all you you don't have to worry about economy. You just spend all your money every turn and put the best board you can in play. It's kind of like Battlegrounds that way. No economy management. What is it? 16, 17, 18, 19. I should probably put this there. Except for that guy. I played him three rounds ago. Alright, never mind. All the assassin jumps are over there. <laughs> we're staying over here. We thought about moving, but we like where we're at. He's on the chopping block. You get one gold if you win a fight, so we may not have to sell him. You want to be at breakpoints of 10, because all the breakpoints of 10 give you bonus money. Skara just gifted us five subs. I appreciate the generosity. Welcome, Mighty Finger, Wicked Child 95, Shuner, and Danohino72. I appreciate the support. Glad to have you guys here. Oh, and for Mac, make sure you guys thank Skara and Chant for his generous gift subs. Ooh, big brawler. We could maybe go four brawlers for a little while in this mid game as our next sort of thing. the The hard part is going to be changing into rangers eventually to capitalize off the death blade and stuff. Abomination's not really an end game comp unless you hit the uh, abomination spatula. So if we don't get the abomination spatula, we have to pivot out. And pivoting sounds scary. As it is. <laughs> you have to sell your units in play that you love and trust and replace them with completely new ones. Oh, he's a little spooky. But man, our mid game is going to be a good. I, th I thought Riven sucks now. Three star Riven is supposed to be really bad. They they removed a lot of her power scaling. Looks like it's time for the old switcheroo. Oh, <laughs> I saw so many Kazakhs jumping on this side. I should have probably just put Yasuo back here to protect her. What should have done? Looks like. Do we get the cast off? No, we don't get a cast off. Dang it. Good protector for like a millisecond longer. But yeah, a lot of the other assassins are on the left, so that's why I switched. The brand too, though. Lee Sin's out of here. And say she sucks, she did lose some power. Maybe we go for it. We got a situation that could do it, right? Warmogs are another bow. I'm another bow gamer. Honestly, we should probably just make that sound. And then I'm going to make Hurricane on brand, and then our, our dude's going to be sick. I already played this guy. I can't believe we beat this guy, actually. He's gonna have a pretty good backline access. That McNeed has going, man. In the top four? I feel like with this opening, we shouldn't be looking at top four. We should be looking at first place with this opening. That's how I feel, anyway. Like, the items aren't quite yet, there yet, so I can't say for certain, but, like, the power level of our units, we had this early two-star set, we had this early two-star brand. This feels like a, a spot where I should be able to capitalize, right? So I don't want to be doing things to aim for top four. I want to try and do something that aims for a little bit better. So if Riven's top four, that doesn't seem like where I want to be at, you know what I mean? Not in this situation. But maybe in others. It's my favorite comp. I don't know. A any off-meta random carry that works is pretty cool. The Coven has eyes I should definitely have leveled. So greedy. 
<laughs> I can't believe this win streak stayed alive. I greeted out an extra turn. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting to drop this back there. I gotta drop this back there. There's too many assassins for me to keep my dudes just isolated like this. Like, there's so many in this lobby. Kinda works out pretty well though. Those brawlers, large health pools do pretty well usually. I don't think he's gonna make it, but he gets close. Yeah, I have bad RFC. If I could get... I have to build bad RFC, probably. But yeah, I could potentially throw Yasuo. No cloaks? No cloaks. I want a glove. Final whisper time. I can't take it on the new new. Because it combines, right? Oh, wait. I it, it made the item, though. I could have taken the new new. I thought I had a floating chain on it still. Should have taken the new new. What am I doing? Alright. So we have a three item A bomb now. So that should be pretty gnarly. And I have this two star Yasuo. We should be able to finish out through this stage and level up quite nicely. We gotta start picking up uh we gotta start picking up Nightbringers and Rangers. Nightbringers and Rangers. Get them the Philioses. That JDM guy, thanks for three months. Welcome back to the Becky team thing. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here, man. Kazus is just jumping on this brand. This is fine if Nunu dies really fast. I like putting Set against the wall usually so that he gets an angle for his big punch AoE. Yeah, it's a lot like auto chess. It's, except in, in auto chess, the emphasis was usually more about the units, and in this, the emphasis is usually more about the items, I feel. I'm not gonna... My play Lux, I guess. Isn't Ophelios. We're definitely not ready to make the switch yet. Is 
a nice upgrade. I kind of am ready to just lose streak a bit into... Final form, eventually. This is my third and my fourth Nightbringer. The A-bomb stuff's still pretty strong for a while. I need a third of Filios item too. Dead Mango 912, thanks for 24 months. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back, man. Rage Blade. Shadow Spatula. You can make a Nightbringer. Pretty good. Make a Nightbringer or get a Rage Blade for Filios? That's the question. Just looking for a cloak on the carousel or a rod on the carousel. I should be able to get something from this carousel, right? I think I can make a Nightbringer. Greed it. And pretty soon I can just level up and put a Philios in. And then we'd have the four Nightbringers, right? We have four Nightbringers plus a bomb and move a little bit slower into it, I guess. Don't need this anymore. A-bomb is a Nightbringer. It's so sick. When it rolls a Nightbringer. Yo. Yo. Don't trash talk the River Sprite. Metro Man, what are you doing? River Sprite's the best one. How are you going to deny a classic like that? So eventually I need to replace this, 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 this. It's going to be a lot of replacing. I guess we want like Mordekaiser, Diana. This becomes Mordekaiser, this becomes Diana, this becomes Aphelios, this becomes Lee Sin, and we're at six Nightbringers, right? One, two, three. That'd be seven Nightbringers. We're going eight Nightbringers? We just throw in this guy, eight Nightbringer. All right, we're looking for a shadow glove, a bow, a regular glove or a rod. Any of those will work. So we have like a lot of outs here. That's why I was comfortable taking the spatula, I think. That's a good one. That's a good one. Sword could kind of do. But anything that applies like flat stats is usually pretty good because we're multiplying those flat stats with our huge Nightbringer amps. I'm going to take the glove. Oh my god, am I really getting nothing? Alright, we'll, we'll take the sword. We have a giant slayer. Isn't the worst. We also might get more things from this, so we could see. There's the Mordekaiser. Rels. I think we can go really slow into this. A lot of ashes. Your large green man seems powerful. Yeah, large green man. Very good. He falls off at the end, though. He falls off. Because you have to keep your items kind of separate, because 
each of your dudes gives him one item, so you can't have like a true super carry with those items. But a lot of times you want to get rid of these to then put those items on something more impactful. Like this guy. Cool purple guy. The large green man eventually becomes cool purple ranger guy. Ophiliosis. But yeah, probably gonna lose this next fight as well. Just getting ready. Trading my life points for money because you get interest for each of these little bubbles that are filled up. And I got all my bubbles filled up. And nobody else has all their bubbles filled up. Yeah, the golden hats. These things. That's your interest. Every 10 gold, you get one. So you can see what other people's are. He's got. He's, he's already spent all his money, so he should beat me. But I'm grieving for more money because I have tons of life. I didn't want to get beat that badly, but... <laughs> It's probably going to take me a while to make this pivot, too, so... I might just do it during creeps, even. A little bit. I'm just going to level to 8 here. Start moving things around. Okay. We want to get up to 4 Ranger eventually too. Got another death blade. Maybe you just do that. All damage. Alright, I guess. There's Darius. That's going in. There will be no peace. Need to get rid of that. I could keep the mystic, I guess. Second death blade, good. <laughs> I don't even know. We probably really want four ranger with two death blades. It takes so slow. I need the two star. We need to go down to four Nightbringer, four Ranger, I think. Nico's help to the Darius. Do we have another belt somewhere? Where's my belt? Why does it show highlighted Nightbringer? I'm just going to take him. I get this in. We could go up to just all the Nightbringers. I should probably put these in and go 8 Nightbringer.
Good morning, sweet Jamu. How's it going? Welcome back for 41 months. Appreciate the continued support. Glad to have you back. About time we found you. And you. You just got a lot stronger. And we're gonna put in you and you. Where am I needed? And all the Nightbringers? Yeah, it is. What am I rolling for then? I'm rolling for Vlad and Diana. So I think we could chill and try and go to nine from this point. More just about trying to position things probably. Which definitely not really paying attention to too much at the moment. Got the Diana on the opposite corner though, that's pretty good. Still didn't get a cast even with eight Nightbringer. I think 8 Nightbringer is going to work really well with all these Death Blades. Because when his shield pops, he gets 50% more damage. So 50% more of all of this damage. It's big. Alright, we're just trying to make money. If you have a camp, camp's always really good if you have a camp. We need tank items for Mord. Oh, we can take Legionnaire's bat too, but... Big Mord. Do they have that many assassins left? Can we spread out here? It looks like it's pretty assassin free at the moment, so we can be very spread. We can have everybody just, just running at them. We want this on the same side though. I haven't versed the Valkyries in a while, I'm gonna try and jump on it. Nice. You have a higher tendency, I'm pretty sure, to verse people you haven't played yet. So you try and position for people you haven't seen in a while. I don't think the double death blade itemization was the way to go. Double Deathblade, 8 Nightbringer, not fantastic. It's like, okay. I really wish we would have built the Rage Blade. <laughs> Should have built the Rage Blade. This might cost me a top 4 because of that. I just don't have any attack speed on him. Maybe it's better if I drop... 2 Nightbringers. Like, drop this guy and this guy and get Ranger in. Ranger Mystic. Might have been good. A little late now. But I thought I'd get a Rage Blade off the carousel. I was trying to be greedy. We just need to kill something really quick and get the Death Blades. Death Blades snowballing fast. Darius hard carried that one. It's not bad, it's just not good. Imagine though we hit a cloak or a or a rod on that carousel. Then we got Deathblade, Rage Blade, Final Whisper, Eight Nightbringer. Final Whisper isn't great if you have Darius? No, Final Whisper is always really good, I think. Every tier list I've seen... Pretty up there. Check this out. This is... This is what... Baby hits number one a lot, and this was like his... Itemization things for people. And there's like one right there. There's one right there. They're all over the place. He just loves the item. He puts it on casters, Velkaz. 
the uh, Philios, you want Deathblade, the final whisper, and then one attack speed item usually. Get in. Not two death blades, no attack speed item. <laughs> Never that. That's pretty good. 56 to level. We just need to put in a ranger. We're not gonna get a rain. The harvest is upon us. I'm gonna get a mystic. He's got all my kindreds. Mystic was helpful. I can just tap out this. Head back up. You want to lock Varus? Are these not kindred? None of these are kindred. I think the Mystic's better than the Ranger. Until we get both of them at once. Cracked my damage bonus. Oh. Mord wins these. Mord wins these. Don't worry. Mord doesn't win these. We're screwed. He doesn't do any damage. He's tanky though. That Lux was invincible. Top three. The 32 health. Let's go. Still alive though. I don't know, maybe we can squeeze out a second if we get a kindred. No kindreds here. Spatula. We have a bow. Is giant slayer? Giant Slayer on this guy? We already got two Legionnaires. We don't need no Legionnaires. We are all Guess I should do. We're versus the guy where we kind of need Mystics against, probably. I don't know. I don't know if I can beat the... I can't beat this guy, so I should just set up to beat this guy. Even if I do versus this guy, there's... Short on damage, so we were short on. Wait, switch back! You saw him switching, right? Darn it. I got baited, he broke my ankles! He was going one way and then he turned around and went the other way. Oh my god. Oh, 
I don't know if I ever beat that guy anyway. We ever go six Nightbringer? Yeah, the, the move was probably six Nightbringer. The move was six Nightbringer. It had to be, right? I was too stubborn with the eight Nightbringer kindred thing. I should have dropped the Vlad. Vlad comes out, right? Diana has to stay because that's um, Dragon Slayer. So Vlad comes out. And then what do I drop? Lee Sin? Vlad and Lee Sin down. And then just... Yeah. yeah, if I had Ginsu's eight Nightbringers, all right. Should have been six. Should have been six. Eight's a bait. But it's so much cooler. So much cooler, though. Bottom six. No, there was a top three, guys. But yeah, I don't know. Your monitor huge? Yeah, my monitor is really big, and that causes a lot of problems with streaming. If you're gonna be a streamer, don't get a really big, fancy monitor. Just get a normal one. Streaming is not very compatible with it. I get like so much flickering and random stuff that happen on my OBS. But this is pretty good. Third place, first game of the day. Usually I get an eighth first game of the day. I don't know why. Usually my brain takes a while to wake up. I'm pretty happy in the first place, first game of the day. I take those. For third place. Uh oh. Here we go. Up to your YouTube video yesterday. Appreciate that, man. Wait, which one was yesterday? Which YouTube video was yesterday? Was that the, the Aphelios 3 game? Yeah, that one was a good one. That one was a good one. I want to do. I want to do that comp. The, the the comp that the guy was playing. That comp looks sick. The Pantheon Varus thing. Pantheon Varus was sick. When he gets that buff from Varus, he goes bra cha cha cha, and his shield destroys everything. That Pantheon was absurd. We got a hurricane. Hurricane. Give me a Varus. Almost got all the Draconics. I got either forgotten or redeemed, and then I put a hurricane on something. Hopefully, I hit one of those things. Oh, 
Or we'll just get a whole ton of pairs. Ah, jeez. Not looking good. We probably don't have to slam an item. Probably gonna lose this no matter what. Oh, he didn't level. We're gonna win this, and then next turn we complete some of our pairs, and then we're on to win streak city. Final destination, first place. Gonna lose to the guy that's level three. Oh, the spear kills her. Yeah. Okay, okay. Housewife rated me with 97 viewers. I appreciate the support. Welcome to the stream, guys. This is TFT. It's always Shadow Tier, right? So we can play the Forgotten Angle still. No redeemed, no forgotten hit. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't want to sell these options though. Sell these options. And my items, I don't want to slam anything because I'm going to lose anyway. So we're going to build like Shadow Hodge probably. Or Dark Blue on something. We're going to be broke. I'm going to be broke. But yeah, I'm looking at either Forgotten, Redeemed Varus, I don't know, maybe some LeBlanc Coven thing, if we get blue. Those are kind of the three things I'm looking at. Alright, have a nice lunch, Mr. Eagle. Definitely gonna get baited, but baiting is how you learn. I think it's, I think it's Assassin's. Is anybody doing a sense stuff? More people going for others. Trying to build blue on that. Then there would be Hurricane for Nocturne. I think I'm too late on the Forgotten stuff. I'm just so far behind health wise. Forgotten, you kind of want to be win streaking when you do. It's costing me so much gold right now. I don't know, if you get a Katharina, then you can string it together really nicely. I attempted to wait. I should wait, I'm so weak. I'm, j I'm just gonna try and hit something first. Level up, actually? Yeah, I should level two. Three level, and high level some direction. I want blue. What that knack turn? I think there's a powerful item from this spot. Maybe they can't just keep the knack turn too. Nice to have a knack turn here. I'm getting out of redeemed. No redeem. I had to save a little bit of life points. Building some items here.
It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. We're getting a lot of money, though. We, we lose stream. We're managing the economy kind of okay. Alright, so we either have assassin stuff going on with LeBlanc, or we could put this on this and go six forgotten at some point. If we make it there. We should still lose. We might beat that guy, but I think we beat him already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should lose to most people. Which is kind of what you want to do right now. You get bonus gold for continuing losing if she starts losing. They nerfed the blocks damage so much. It does look like we beat this guy. Winning and losing, winning and losing. Alright. Looks like we're going LeBlanc. We're, we're assassin gamers. No more forgotten. Well, I'm gonna use it for a while. We could still hit like a rise or something. If I hit an early rise, I'm doing forgotten still. Another tier. It's like Shadow Hodge, ideally. It's five for guns. We're looking for pitching the redeems if we win. Get him LeBlanc. Show me mean business. Does Kazix get his ult? Nice. Oh, it didn't get the Ash because the things caved on her too fast. The Ash is going to live with 78 HP to kill my whole team. I think it's super important to get this two stern. What's up from Germany? How's it going, man? Four blue buffs. I need to get to three assassins and I gotta find a Katarina ideally. There's a Katarina. Now I can either yeah, now I do this. Now we're big chillin'. Very strong. Other items distinctively better. A lot of them are really good right now. I mean, it changes from patch to patch, and what's popular in the meta and things like that, and with comps use them and all sorts of things. So situationally, not going to twenty feels really bad. I think we're getting out of forgotten and just going to Sanson at this point. One of these. Should definitely be on the other side. Except for against this guy. This guy works out. Because there's two, four, seven, eight, nine. Get him out of here. The gun's not happening in this game. I 
I want to get to level 7 probably and just put in Ivern. Sometimes you slow roll for LeBlanc, but I don't think we have enough life. Bye, Super. Thanks for six months. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here. And mistake not 29. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here, man. Looking for this sword. Just sold my Forgotten units before the Carousel. I probably should have waited one after the Carousel. I could have got that Rise maybe and then went Forgotten instead. Would well, they just waited one? Would well, they just waited one? Then take the Rise. Play six Forgotten with the Rise. Rise had a rod on it. What, what if there's no Rise there with no? Let me just waste one gold. I mean, honestly, wasting one gold is not horrible, right? I'd throw one, one, one gold away. I don't even care about one gold. Let's go left. So we do it like this. This assassin goes to the furthest target, so jumps here, then goes over here. So everybody's crashing in this corner at the moment. We're gonna get, get somebody over there. Yeah, another guy's playing assassin. Why are you playing assassins? Nocturne items are lit. I like why am I playing assassins? Block slash patch, dude. Nocturne, Nocturne Skronk. Everybody's so strong. I still think we want to be left. The items. Everybody's items are like best in slot for their carry. The Lux reroll is getting more and more popular. This is the second time I've seen Lux reroll today. I gotta learn that luxury roll, come. Huh? I've never done it. I gotta stop putting items on LeBlanc. LeBlanc is crap now, dude. Okay, sell it. LeBlanc is so bad after the nerfs. There's no damage. No damage. The assassins, you want to go Nocturne all the way? You want to make one star cat the coven leader? I don't know. I think I'm kind of committed. Be two star the cat. Not see a lot of things. No cat too. No Ivern. I'm looking for Shadow Belt for Nocturne. Best item. Put the IE on the LeBlanc, I think. Or do you want to put it on the Nocturne? 
Do we ever trash the LeBlanc? Never trash the right. Dark blue, right? So maybe after we two star it. I'm not trashing her. I'm not trash. Committing at least. It all right, if we're gonna trash her anyway, let's try this first. See if it's horrible. If it's horrible, we trash her. If it's not horrible, maybe we keep her. You know, I think it's a rational approach. I mean... Now that she's got the IE, it's not horrible. The Nocturne's still doing more work. Eventually, you probably want to move items. Put these on the rise, put the IE on Nocturne. I think for now it's probably fine. The block is bad, Coven's bad, that's true. We don't have the six assassins yet, but yeah. We gotta get up to six assassins, drop Coven. Which means we'd need to find a Viego. It's not in our budget at the moment, guys. Really not. I'm rolling. I was, I was hesitant to roll, but I want to find this if there are any. The blocks away though. Take the LeBlanc with the spatula. The block three is just my out, I think. Oh my god, he takes it. Yeah. The shadow bow was pretty good, but this one had five gold attached to it, so I went for it. We little broke. Only bear. I still don't have an ivern. We're trying to play for sixth place with this line. We're doing good. We're knocking down somebody that's in that spot. He's in our bracket. The, the other guys here, they're playing a whole different game. We're, we're versus these three people. That's it. Everybody up here, yeah, they're, they're in a whole different world for us. We got we to gotta get the points where we can get the points. There it is. Lands in the outs. We probably should have set up better outs, but I didn't realize how bad LeBlanc was. LeBlanc is, uh, le bad. Oh, he switched. Nice. Get out of there, Velkaz. No cast for you. Just gotta win the 50-50s of choosing the right side a lot. <laughs> Where next? 
Who knows? Maybe we sneaky do a fifth year. Get him out of there. Not last. That's how it starts, man. You sneak into a fifth. Next thing you know, you start sneaking into a fourth. Really need the guy contesting me to die. The top five angle. took away her damage and said they only wanted to be a CC bot. And then we built damage on her anyway. <laughs> but she's a she's a medium damage CC bot now. That's something. More damage. So BT or Giant Slayer? BT or Giant Slayer? What do you think? BT gives him a shield so that he lives maybe a bit longer. Giant Slayer make him do more damage. I haven't versed the Lux guy in forever. Yeah. Crazy. Get him, get him to kill things. Doesn't activate on this. It almost activates on the Yasuo 2 star. They need 1750. It activates on that 3 star Lux, is what I'm thinking. The dark blue is active? Bad BT. Don't want that. That that does damage to him at the beginning of the fight. I guess he heals it back really fast, right? Maybe it's fine. We could also build Chalice and scale up this a little bit more. Scaling that up could be really good. I'm gonna take challenge. Baby. Sneaking into that top four. Ooh. We might be doing it. It's happening. The guy that took all my nocturnes is dead. We can find him. He's out there in the wild. Now we gotta get we gotta level up to eight and put an Ivern in. That's what we gotta do. Is this better? It's definitely better. Why has nobody mentioned this? Like a hundred and ten percent better. I'm versing the Lux guy, like no matter what, right? We're, we're sending the boys to the other side, so he's always the Lux guy. Wait, did he switch? Where'd he go? Shit. Okay, it wasn't the Lux guy. There's too many people alive. It makes it so hard. Chucked my Nocturne over here. He's gonna get stuck on this rail all the live long day. Oh, we're dead. Couldn't get on this. Last time we insta killed that guy. Now he's getting tons of rail shields and stuff. Wait. So close. Frosty Balls, thanks for four months. Welcome back to the Back Cave team thing. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back. Yeah, Kha'Zix is nuts. Not gonna lie. I've had a, a three-star Kha'Zix before do 21,000 damage. Twenty-one thousand damage. One cost unit. 
Kazakh goes burr. But I don't know. This activates Nightbringer, so it's probably better. Now I have to have two things on either side of this guy. I have to have Chalice. We need another unit in play for the positioning. We're at 18. Got that. Alright. Where's where's Lux guy? Lux guy died, it reset. Alright, we're going we're right. Shit! Lux guy didn't die. Man, he's just where was the Lux? Did not see any Luxes when I was rolling through. I need to get my eyes checked when I needed to. I think we're dead. Nocturne, a lot of work there. Three life. The level up made the difference to keep us alive. We got a chance to make it into this top five. This is a battle out here to get fifth. Could they had a forgotten unit or something. Forgotten renewer. Definitely roll. That might be better, honestly. Oh, Viego. How do I get Viego in? Drop this. Maybe just drop this. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right. Well, we didn't do any positioning, so that's probably not good. Also, there was the Ivern here. I need the Ivern's supposed to be in over this Morgana, probably. Nocturne just tore up everything in that corner. Infinite CC? Oh, she's on fire. No! Don't burn down! <laughs> ZKillZZ, thanks for 58 months. Welcome back to the Back Cave team thing. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back. Alright, do we want to give up Mystic Nightbringer for Revenant? Is that worth? I think this might just be final form. I don't even know if we need the Ivern. Although it does buff this guy, who is the man. Level 9. There's no way now we're going to level 9. We need to figure this out at this level. And a blue buff must have in LeBlanc. Don't build LeBlanc. LeBlanc's trash. They, they nerfed her damage too much. You want Ivern in over them? Well, then I gotta roll for it. Ah! Ah! Alright, this is the positioning locked out. Oh, they tossed my boy. The toss was too strong. Wait, he's still alive! I thought he was dead! He's unkillable! The Revenant! Good call on the Ivern. The Ivern call. The Ivern call won that. Everybody who said Ivern pat themselves on the back right now. And that was, that was the difference maker. Ivern diff. Dragon Slayer. Mortality Gunblade. Alright, Gunblade or Dragon Slayer? Dragon Slayer gives us AP, it's pretty good. Gunblade gives us healing. We don't need to heal things, we gotta kill things. Maybe it's Nightbringer? That's more damage too. Nightbringer on the cat would be 20% damage. Dragon Slayer would be. Lots of ability power. We're going to Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer Katarina. It's also a forgotten item. All right, let's hit this last upgrade. There's no one. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have switched anyway. 
This was the one guy I wasn't supposed to switch for. I lost a little bit of a tank speed on my Nocturne because of this vision. But I gained a tank speed on Diana. Didn't ult anyway. To be fair though, I think 100% lose versus this guy. No matter what we do. 3 star Yasuo, 3 star Pantheon guy. Just one of the guys we can't beat. I fought so hard to try and get top five. And we were this close. But yeah, that opening, that opening was disastrous for me. And people just didn't die. It was 6-3. I, I'm happy we made it there. But yeah, that's, that's a rip. Much OP for Grandmaster? Like 200 and something. <laughs> Infeldorf subscribed for 13 months. Welcome back to the Mac Cave team thing. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back, man. Is this NA? This is NA. Grandmaster the highest level? No, there's another level after it, the challenger level. Which I, I hope to eventually hit. I aspire to be to be challenged. Carnage sixty three, thanks for four months. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you make the client smaller? Sometimes it bugs and then it's just two buttons. It'll be just like, it'll be this X and then this, this and the question mark. And then when you press the X, it says, are you sure you want to exit? And that's it. <laughs> that happened yesterday at the end of the stream. Zerithal, uh, LOL, thanks for 32 months. Welcome back to the back cave team thing. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back, man. So what do you do when you get a blue buff now? You used to just slam it on LeBlanc or Brand, but they nerfed Brand and they nerfed LeBlanc. Is Tear just not good anymore? I'm not sure. Like, who's your blue buff holder now? Oh, Katarina. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. But now it's just Katarina, right? But Rise isn't a holder, right? It Rise is a destination. Give me a Rise right now. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, Karma's not a holder that you, I'm talking about units that hold the thing until you get to the thing that uses it the best, you know? Lissandra, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna buy a clip. Lissandra could hold blue buff pretty well, I guess. Ziggs? Yeah, Ziggs can do it. Yeah, Ziggs is probably the guy. Maybe I should buy the clip, Pompey. <laughs> I guess Victor can do a pretty good job of it too. Okay, there's some spots. I want to buy this. We don't always get money here. We only have two. I guess I sell these and buy that if we don't get any money. Rod Tira Aglov. For 
forgotten. Forgotten brawlers. Guess I'm getting rid of the redeemed. We do the Lux thing. We kept the redeemed. The Archangel's Lux thing. Maybe that was the maybe that was the angle. Archangel's Warwick or Archangel's Vlad? Yeah, I've tried it before. I've never seen the Warwick actually work super well. I've seen it get top four, but that's about it. I don't know. The Vlad I've seen do, do kind of good work. I was trying it a lot yesterday, though. I lost... Uh, I was at 200, 200 LP yesterday. And... Uh, it all went goodbye, because I was trying stuff with Vlad and Renewers, and I didn't really know how to do them very well. Ooh, shadow lock in. I guess we want Victor to have mana. So all the units on these glowy tiles get extra defenses but gain less mana. It's really good for tanky stuff. Megan's the real tanky. I don't even know if this is better or worse than Warwick, because Hecarim got hit pretty hard with the nerf stick. Definitely not with Brawler Synergy, right? Maybe it's better than Victor, though. Probably better than Victor, because I can make use of this a little bit better, which is nice. Gonna win the fight in pre level. Eat him, Nunu. Increase my odds of trying to find two and three class units. If I can find a brand, I can have A bomb in, right? That could be pretty huge. Oh my god, we're not even gonna win. Dead. Better item selection. Shadow items. I want that shadow tier if we can get it. Get a cloak's not bad. Com combo them with a sword or combo them with a bow can be pretty good. It doesn't work super well with anything we have at the moment, but... It's gonna give my forgotten units 10% more of the forgotten buff. Two Varuses. Two Varuses. Get 
we don't do very much damage. That's okay. We're not losing too much life. The all tank item open. But it's really tough to win fights with all tank items. <laughs> we tied. Maybe get a ribbon in there just to do more damage. The dawn is coming. Ribbon does damage. I don't know. Honestly, the Hecarim with the Forgotten buff does just as much damage. But pick up ribbon to maybe pair with this abomination. I'm either going with Forgotten's or I'm doing some sort of abomination mid game to so pivot into something, you know? What's this channel come to? First time chanter. What do you mean, what's it come to? This is your first time here, it says. Welcome to the channel, dude. A bomb. I guess we could do it later. I don't. I'm not attached to any of this stuff, actually. Just sell it. Well, I'm leaning more towards the A-bomb direction right now. Maybe I do just get rid of these things. It's not like I have anything too starred for either piece, though. You know what I mean? Maybe I shouldn't decide yet, and then just sell the middle-of-the-road units. Let's see which one I two-star. Alright, who starred that one? I don't have a hurricane. I have Shojin. Belkan's angle. Yeah, okay. Let me see what's in this box here before I decide completely what I'm doing. Terms with these items. I don't know about that. Another shadow item potentially. I get the sword though. Need to get stronger. Where am I needed? Let the bloodshed begin. The dawn is coming. Can do one of these. We have a two star Lee Sin here.
Just put in a two star at least. I want to get Assassin Synergy online. That's my next unit though. So we're doing like A bomb into Forgotten. <laughs> I guess is the the the, the path. And not gonna Ivern Synergize. But I can't drop A bomb. Do I want to drop Forgotten or do I want to drop A bomb for that? Like I want these units. That opens up Assassin for me, right? Definitely don't need this. Five, six gold there. No, I'm too far away from Assassins. I think I would be going for... I think I'd be going for... Forgotten, not 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 for assassins. I'm looking for. They already committed the tears. I'm just taking chain for GA, right? Bow for hurricane could have been good too. Alright, so we're trying to go Six Forgotten and then Katarina, basically. I need two stars and more units. <laughs> Do I roll a bit? I'm so broke though. It's the thing, I'm at 30 gold. I roll a bit. I'm not making it to level 7 very cleanly. If I hit Karma's at level 7, I could play Karma. So yeah, we could either hit the Forgotten units, play Forgotten. We could hit Karma, try and pivot to Karma. I mean, technically, we could play Velkaz with blue buff, I guess. Alright, I'm very inclined to stay with the Forgotten. <laughs> a two-star Katarina is going to be hard to throw away. Tell you what. We have a revenant at some point. If we put a nocturne in, but ideally we want to use this with like a bow for our draven, right? Invisible Morgana. Oh my god. Cut through the Vlad. I'm selling this. We're looking to try and get out of A-bombs and put six for gun in soon. Got number four. Wait. Oh, there's two people on six. I have two star victor. Star catering. Get there. And a fawn. Is 
it should level faster probably. I was thinking about maybe trying to greed, but probably a bad idea. It's all six of them, right? Throw some more things in there to lock it. Timer dinger. Yeah, he's kind of juiced. Hurricane. I think I'm trying to go to eight from here. What do you, th what do you think? Do you think this is stable enough? It it's a little dicey. I'll be honest with you. It's a it's a bit dicey. Oh, Katharina Lockett buff because she has blue. That makes sense. She blue always sets her to twenty mana, right? It doesn't matter how much she gets from unhit. Uh, good catch, good catch. Yeah, she's still just chaining. He's got a two star Draven. At level seven without rolling any money. How you do that? With three good items on it? Eke wins. Getting Assassin Synergy for the Katarina is going to be good, right? If we could get Viego, we could get four Assassin in. Actually, maybe we just can get four Assassin in because of the... the fawn, honestly. Like, this is a slot doing nothing, kind of. A weirder for victory. But yeah, we slow roll at seven for Katarina three, right? Another shadow locket, make this front line invincible. I have how many shadow items? I only have two. I need more shadow items. Actually, your views dip so much when you don't play Hearthstone. Oh, dude, that's my life. Yeah, you're sitting over there lolling. That's that's my life. I've been I've been in a situation where I don't make any money if I don't play Hearthstone for the last seven years. Not funny. <laughs> the sling more tank is probably better. I could put this Sichuan in too. Two star Aphelios already? Oh, the stun. They kill us. Yeah. The 
big. I have an extra forgotten in as well. I really want Threshold eventually, though. Never need this. I want to keep the, the Four Assassin Dream alive if we're going to play Katarina as our main thing. Nine for gun? You gotta go to level nine to play nine for gun. I don't think that's in the cards at our life total. Well, I guess it, we only have to go to level eight, right? Because we got the fun. Good. We gotta hit a Viego, though. If we hit a Viego, maybe we start, start trying to do it. I don't think it's very good though, right? You would say it's like pretty mediocre. I think it's still smarter to look for Cat 3. She's got a lot of items on her. I want to add like Mordekaiser over this. Or level up and put Mordekaiser in, could be applied too, since we didn't hit any cats. Might be. Not slow roll at seven because no cats. Level up, have chances for Viego for four assassins, have chances for Mord to get Dragon Slayer Legionnaire going on over here. It's level up. Level up. But uh, looks like we're going to take one more loss first and then level up next turn. The Heimer 2 with 3 items guy, pretty strong. Yeah, we were probably going to take the same amount of damage, level or not level, versus this guy. That guy's... That guy's got the stuff. Forgotten Emblem. Oh my goodness. Maybe we do go for all the forgotten you. Every with us. I'm missing. This needs to become forgotten. That needs to become forgotten. I'm missing one. The runes decide my path. This is my Very of a victor. Assassin Yasuo is nuts. This is the second game I've seen Assassin Yasuo just do tons of work. Oh wait, we need that. Yeah, I need more. We don't have Rise too, right? So we're getting rid of Diana. Then we lose Assassin. Oh, we we'll find the expensive Assassin guy. Oh, we already had a Rise too. What am I doing? <laughs> now I have two Rise twos.
Where was the ninth one? You can't get Rise 3 this lobby. There's other people playing Six Forgotten. We would have never found the last one. There it is. The Viego. You just take the Viego. That gives us Assassin and Nine for Gun. We did it. Enough time to die. And the Shadow item for it too. Do we have enough though? You you can only get benefit from four. So we already had four. So the fifth one doesn't help, fortunately. But yeah, we got max shadow items, nine for gun, for gaming. Get you in the front line. Alrighty. That's the cop. Killed the big guy. We need to get another, um, what's it called? Viego, so we can move the item over to Draven. Give him double untamed hurricane. All right, let's try and two-star these things. We get a Thresh, maybe get another Viego, we can move the item. Maybe just two-star the Viego. Is level six. We got this. Maybe I could have been more patient this game. The people down here beat the hell out of me, though. There's a lot of people trying to play for like fifth or sixth place. Everyone, everyone's all in, you know. People had to all in early, I guess. Shiv. Hey, it's attack speed for Draven. <laughs> the Warwick items in the Mord? Yeah, that's true. That is very true. I need another Warwick. I had a Warwick too. Ah, oh. Yeah, that, that that's a huge misplay by me. Huge. I wish I would have noticed that. That's a good spot. Oh my god, Viego too. Guys, is this the top four? It's gonna be hard to find a new Warwick. Maybe he gets it now instead of the Draven. I don't know. The Draven does a lot of damage. A little attack speed on the Draven goes a long way. Oh, there is a vein there. I could have done it. Okay, okay. I was uh, thinking about the item. Ah, three star assassin, yeah, so. Oh, the Thresh! The hero we need? But Viego's doing work back there. Got a Pantheon. Oh my god, one life, one life! 
crack the vein. Spatula, Ironclad, Archangels, Dark Frozen Heart for this guy, right? That's the play. Have a chain fest. If that guy lives, we win, right? So that's that's the plan. We've just versed the Astro guy. We played that guy. We're probably versing that guy soon. We played him two rounds ago. But I think it's more impactful to jump on that guy. Oh, he switched. That's okay. Katharina will get him. Oh my god, Katharina didn't get <laughs> 21. Holy smokes. The they Philios only had like a Rage Blade, too. Dude, 9 forgotten. Eh. The fifth. I'm surprised we got that, uh, that close to a fifth with that start. That start was uh... dicey. <laughs> Yeah, we died to first place guy, right? Level 9 guy with Daenerys 2, Aphelios 2. That's a tough one. Yeah, I, I should have been looking at re replacing the Warwick earlier. That was a mistake. Replacing the Warwick needed to happen way faster. And then uh, I needed to think about replacing the Katarina as soon as we decided that we were leveling up and not three-starring the Katarina, right? So I should have had the... But I didn't see too many extra Katarinas. But I definitely had extra Warwicks that I just sold. And if I would have just moved those items to Mord earlier, that could be the difference right there. That could be the extra 10 life points that allow me to get a top four there, right? So it... it I think the overall macro plan was good, played towards the outs that we were dealt, but the, at the end of the day, some of the little minor things with moving items around was where I messed up. I think, I think, I think if I played that game perfectly with that pan out and that game plan, I could have top forward. I think, I think that's probably true. That's good. It means, it means learning, seeing, seeing the errors and. And, and knowing what to do. I like that more than when you lose and you don't know what the hell you did wrong. That's because that's just frustrating, right? When you lose, you don't know why. But uh, at least I know why. The lobby was rough, too. A lot of people just hit. There's a guy at there's a guy at level seven with two star Heimerdinger with thirty items. That lobby, that lobby was nuts. And we gigolo rolled that opening. Last whisper. Ah. I hate it when it gives you all the money right at the very end when you can't use it. Unless you go lightning fast. A bomb redeemed. Block is trash. Bellweaver stuff.
I just need the shadow spatula, dude. <laughs> shadow spatula in a hurricane. Magnetic remover. Seven, eight, nine. I don't think I want to close off those opportunities. Alright, he's never forgotten. It looks like Redeemed is the most viable at the moment. Do this. But we might be doing some sort of like spell weaver and climb into stuff. We might be doing a bomb. Yeah, big chunks. Make 10 gold? You want to make 10 gold here and commit to redeemed? If we would lose pairs, we can't do that. that that's that's cutting, cutting down too much. We got to get stronger first. We're, we're pretty weak. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, a triple. All right, well, we have the Shadow Hurricane. Put that on this sucker. Look around. Pretty good. We should be fine versus Kha'Zix's, because Syndra should just chuck them away. So now we can e we can either with this we can go for um, Varus or we can go for a bomb. People watch this in Hearthstone. No, no, people don't watch me play this. They only watch me play Hearthstone. That's okay. I I don't really want to play Hearthstone. I played it a lot. Sometimes life's about more than just making money, guys. I wish I could get some triples. Instead of just a hundred pairs. I guess my one triple is this, so we should be building towards that, I guess. The trolls are going to war. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm ever going Valkans from this spot, so I don't think these are important. So if I win, I can sell these. If I lose, I can sell these. Karma game. If I would have picked up the Riven, I could try and use Riven to carry myself into Karma. I want Sword. Oh, Bow will do. I could take the Brand, the Triple. Just none of these other items really matter. We're just a Nunu away from greatness. The 
best unit to turn into a skirmisher. The unit with hurricane that hits a lot. Something that can apply the skirmisher buff to many things, right? So something that attacks quickly and attacks many things would be ideal. So I wouldn't say Mordekaiser. I don't know why people always do Mordekaiser. But you want something that hits a lot of things very fast, like a ranger with a hurricane. But then you also need to be in a situation where the fight's more sustain-oriented. I don't know if there is a good answer for something to turn into a skirmisher. They might just they might just be skirmishers who are the best skirmishers. Maybe brawlers? And I have this trundle if I want it with this pantheon. With this hurricane. <laughs> I don't have the Varuses, so I don't like going redeemed that much. I'm either going skirms or a bombs from here. Admirable just hit Challenger recently, by the way, guys. So he's he's a big deal now. He's he's one of the best in the world now, in North America. Bachelor. Where's, where's my shadow gloves, guys? The next student's a knight. <laughs> I, have, I have half of two separate comps in play, but they're two stars, so it's like they're doing fine. Unfire angle. Fires are right. I might be like Dawnbringering or something though, so I want to be cool. Or I might be Ironcladding. If we stay Skirms, Ironclad's the way to go, right? Get that four Ironclad bonus in. Um. All right, we got plenty of hits. We got plenty of hits. Give me, give me the new new right off the roll here. Make it easy. Show me the new new. Or Jax. Add a glove for the spatula. I like that. Then we just need the new new. You want to make a two star unit the thing? I think we do the Sunfire, right? This is my next unit. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That A bomb is angry. Some say the world will end in zombies.
Probably a better skirmisher. I'm not 100% sure after the nerfs, but probably. Oh, we'll bring him back a pip. Oh, take, a, take a wee step back a pip. Gunfire is big this fight. And I love Trundle. Trundle might be my favorite unit. Unit's nuts. He absorbs a percentage of some of these life. Kind of ridiculous. Versus all those guys that have one big tank, if you just have a trundle in, it just it just eats it. Thanks. We just want a sword mainly. I'll take a Jax with the sword. <laughs> There's a lot of swords. Nobody wants swords. Swords are cheap. They're giving them away. Now I can put IE on this brand, so then my A bomb's gonna get IE and Hurricane. Do big damage. He's not even summoning my A bomb, he's too weak. What do I put behind my A bomb front line? Arma Ivern? <laughs> Seems decent, right? The skirmisher trait really is not doing me a whole lot of favors, right? Start building out something real. Yeah. Having the dragon slayer is nice though. Definitely not knights. Some people do like four brawlers, right? I need to find the new new still. Eventually, this trundle's got to become something else. He's just an early two-star trundle, so that's why we're just rocking him. But we're not actually skirming it. Going to seven and rolling till we hit Nunu. Picking up good units along the way. Rise and Nunu. This is for Garen, and this is for Karma, eventually. <laughs> Next step, level 8.
We're huge, dude. I could even just do this, get extra strong, preserve this five win streak. Big winner. All I do is win, win, win. No matter what. Holy shit. I thought I was cool. We might lose to this guy. He's got Tarek 2 with items and Karma 2 with items. Nope, uh, A-Bomb does not care. <laughs> nice karma, nerd. Holy smokes. Oh. That's my next unit. Power, power win streak. Take some, take some life out of this lobby. Show him who the boss is. Boss. That's a boss play right there. And we're trying to go for invokers. Yeah, yeah, new, new. Big A bomb energy. Nom, 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 nom. We want tier items. Or mogs. What about Morello? No, we don't need. We have Heimer, right? But just a rod for things to go on Karma. We're going to get more items still, right? How many items do you get? I actually, I really need to memorize that. You get, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces. So how many more do we get? You get fourteen. Wait for real. That seems like that seems high. Twelve to fourteen. All right, so we're getting more. All right, so then I want to be patient because I feel like we're going to murder everybody. Yeah, that trundle needs to become something. Oh. Does he get there? Oh my god, it's close. <laughs> no, he dies to the turret! We could have killed that guy. That would have been huge. Is this just better? Probably not. Once it's two star, it would be. Kale. Is Kale good with A bomb synergy? I don't know if A bombs stall long enough for Kale. Kale's like a unit you gotta protect for a really long duration. And then if you can do that, she's really good. A bomb activates when your things die. So we got a bunch of squishy things that die and then activate a big guy. As long as Kale isn't one of the things that dies when the board's in chaos before the thing spawns, it could be good. But it's a little shady.
Proud for karma, you love to see it. Rage played. The rage blade for Heimer. I have this Morello, so I'm gonna put on like a volley bear later. Could put it on the karma though. Could apply pretty quickly, huh? Yeah, maybe it's time to ditch karma and just put it on Heimer. If we two star the Heimer, one hundred percent, right? Alright, Garen. This is, so this becomes Garen. We add in Volley Bear. And I think that's the comp. This becomes Garen. We add in Volley Bear. So we're just getting to 9 to look for those 5 cost units. And that's the game plan. If we hit a Tarek along the way, Tarek could be an intern for Garen. Karma would become Teemo. Probably. We are all oh, we have the volley now. Too expensive to level still, but we could do this. Who takes a bomb spent? Put it on Ivern. Oh, what? Ivern, of course, was the last unit to load in, so I couldn't get it on him fast enough. God darn it. It's super annoying. I should have just put it on Karma. <laughs> I don't know why Ivern was so slow to load in. I wish they all loaded in at once, and then it, it gave you a few seconds, you know? I don't know why they load in one at a time. We want Garen item? Like, if we don't get, like, either Zephyr or Bramble... We could take a Shojin and just put it on Heimer. That works. I'm leveling up here. I should. Aaron, how was I getting that? Over the Teemo right now. Should definitely be in somehow. Red Garen is my Sunfire probably. I'm selling the Karma for Teemo. Synergy too. 
So the abomination guy gets one item from every abomination unit and then he comes to life and fucks shit up. We don't need this karma anymore. After a couple of guys dies, he gets one item from each of the green guys. I'm pretty juiced. Big A bomb. I need a third A bomb item too. Um, Titan's resolve or something. G give me a TR. Ooh, a Hodge. It's really good on Teemo. It's really good on Heimer, and it's really good on my A bomb. So, where do you think I put it, guys? I'm down to put it on any any of those spots. But where do you think would be the best? Oh, it's not even bad on Garen either. If we two start the Garen, maybe we could put it on Garen too. Oh my goodness. Alright, the only thing left to get is this and Rise. Alright, all that's left to get is Rise. I'm gonna put it on Ivern, I think, because I want the E bomb to have three items. This is cool. <laughs> Hodge Rise? Yeah, maybe Rise is a better user of the Hodge. The one star Rise, though. It'd be funny, put an item on the only one star unit on my team. Alright, now the A bomb's way stronger. I mean, it goes pretty hard. I feel like we'd had similar results no matter what we put it on, though. Serious Mang, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here, man. This was a this was a nice nice easy game. I felt like I chose the right path. We had three paths we were kind of prospecting in the beginning, and then I hit the A bomb path. Then I was still like kind of prospecting other paths, so I had a two-star trundle left over from the skirmisher path I was prospecting. And we just kind of leveraged two-star trundle plus a bomb spent. They're able to snowball like crazy. Then we were able to turn that into invokers, which which really worked out. Invoker seem like really good behind this front line. All right, let's find this rise. Oh, we can also get volley bear too. All right, I forgot about you, bud. We didn't. At playing time to scout? Yeah, maybe. Maybe a good idea. I was just gonna wing it and hold my people, do it. They, they have to be powerful enough to where I don't need to scout anymore, right? This is, this is no scout team. Too strong. Alright, I gotta go to the washroom. I'll be right back. Oh wait, let me, let me do this first. If he gets a shroud, he might be able to win, I guess. Routing me. None of the ice items matter. We're getting this. We're getting the big bear. <laughs> a tier on the big bear is actually good. He ults faster. It's pretty ideal.
it is. Close. Oh, yeah. What does Shroud do? Shroud makes it so that your your units take longer to cast. So he can, he's can he got it on his bench, and he's going to put it on a unit that's going to hit my people. So I need to make sure that this guy is not next to this guy. Because if both of these get hit, we lose such a huge percentage of our damage. But that's, that's about the, the, the most important thing for my positioning here. Nothing else matters too much. As long as we don't get double shrouded. On, uh... Emo and timer. A bomb spat, pretty good. A bomb spat, pretty good. <laughs> Sibbers, Silver Fox, thanks for six months. Welcome back to the back cave team thing. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back, man. Ninety-five. Right, one more, and then um, then we'll do the the game with viewers, and then I gotta and then I gotta call it so that um, I have a coaching session I booked actually. I, I hired a coach, so we, we're gonna do some VOD review, and he's gonna give me some tips. So I was gonna do it off stream. I'm a, I'm a little too shy getting coached on stream feels. It's like it'd be awkward. Which coach? I don't know, he seemed like a nice guy. His name's Harry. Oh, maybe it's no boss. <laughs> God. Admirable's got better things to do than coach me for free. He's, he's building his stream and his casting repertoire and doing stuff. I wouldn't want to take his time away. Maybe YouTube video coaching? Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. I'm not going to be very good at um, getting coached. Because I've never practiced getting coached before. But it's going to be kind of boring. Because he's just going to be watching the, the VODs of this stream. And telling me what I did wrong and what I did right, you know? Also, yeah, I, I haven't asked him about his permission and stuff for that. See, they might be down. How do you get into the viewer game? So after this game, we're going to do a thing called Ultimate Bravery. And so I'm going to post a link in chat. And if you play on NA and you click the link in chat, you're in. But the rules are a little bit different than standard TFT. Um, the rules are going to be... It, it rolls you two different synergies, and you're only allowed to buy units from those synergies. And you're going to have a king, and your your king always has to have the most items, and you got to three-star your king. So it's, it's a fun game mode. So even if you're not very good, you got a chance of winning. That's pretty cool. And a lot of meme -y things usually happen. So it's, it's like a just-for-fun thing anyone can hop in on. But one more serious game, and then we're, then, then we're, off, to the, we're off to the memory. Manboat31415, thanks for 45 months. Welcome back to the Beck Cave team thing. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here, man. Is it a defined game mode? And there's like a website with rules and stuff. Yeah, you can check it out at Ultimate Bravery. But yeah, it's not a supported by League of Legends, if that's what you're asking. It's like a third-party website. I think it's a fun way to... You know, interact with viewers. They're usually pretty, pretty fun. When I was trying to, I participated in a talk show called Omni Stone. One of the ways that the talk show grew, like one of the most effective growth strategies, was we just played a "Whose Meme Reigns Supreme" game at the end, and sometimes included viewers' ideas and stuff like that. And it worked really well. So I'm trying to just kind of copy that idea. 
and apply that to my my stream. So hopefully my stream grows because, you know, a little bit of extra thing to wait for at the end of the stream, something to look forward to, a little bit of different flavor, set me apart from other streamers maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it for a while. If it, if it ends up being lame, it ends up being lame, but I'll try something, right? I don't mind the Udyr with the sword. Get in there. Go slay. So what do we got? We got Forgotten. We got the Skirm angle. That's about it. Maybe some weird brawler angle. Four, six, eight, nine. Forgotten angle. Many forgotten. It's never redeemed here. Dun, dun. Brawler angle too. Never knights. Probably just keep two star Uder in there because he's a two star. The Warwick reroll. A bomb angle. A bomb's good with brawlers. I don't know. I, I think I want to lean more into the brawler angle than the a bomb angle. I'm not really sure how good four brawlers is. It could be a good little holdover, you know. We got slaughtered. Two star Clista, two star Vlad, kind of nuts. All right, then then we'll, we'll do the brawler angle like this and open up maybe some Callista angle. Uh oh, we're getting a lot of angles, guys. We shut out the Warwick reroll angle if I make this. Do we want to give up the Warwick reroll angle? The dream? Yeah, probably. Shadow Locket's good in skirms too. The Shadow Locket's good for brawlers. It's good for skirms. It's good for it's good for all of the things. All all of the angles that we have presented, it's pretty good for. Except for a bomb. Not great for a bomb. It's not bad for a bomb. Not bad for a bomb, that's for sure. That Yasuo with a hat goes really hard. I'm just red. Did have a Varus there actually. Could have reopened up that. Nah, I'm going to 10. But we're narrowing our scope. I don't have two star Callista yet. I want to pick this up too. I think Skirms is real here. Did the Forgotten or Skirms? I want to be making 10 here, otherwise our account's going to be too small. Actually, I need the knight. Essentially. Three skirm, two knights, pretty good. I think it's Shadow Glove. Shadow Spatula. That guy's going A bomb. No, he's not. No glove. 
Thanks. Shadow Nunu with the uh, Nunu with the Shadow Spatula is like super free egg bomb. Well, those are some forgotten you. Not quite six, though. Oh, we need a knight in. This is good. Huh. Not gonna have any mana because the shadow lock in. Might be bad. I want these skirms? But I can't afford them. There we go. I guess we could still be skirms, yeah. Caustic QSS over there. BT. Need to find a hurricane. I want to make it to 20. How do I make it to 20 while keeping my options open? Sell skirms, right? We could sell veins. Vein go in over. Yeah, it does. I mean, I've kind of committed to Katharina being my item holder, though. I don't want in that locket. I think the cell was supposed to be Udir. I think it was supposed to be Udir celled. And just put in a forgotten unit. Because Udir can't be that much stronger than a random forgotten unit at this point. And then I'd have that Trundle pair, which could actually do something. Because Udir is not a direction. He's just like an okay guy. Or Udir. I don't care about that. We're just going straight up to six forgotten after this every time, no problem. We already got five. Final whisper. Dead Hodge Giant Slayer. Hand of Vengeance or Fine. Fine Whisper is too good, right? Like the best side of the game. We have the tier for Dark Blue still. What made me choose the number 1226? My battle tank's 1225. So for my second account, I'm 1226. My battle tank from Hearthstone. That's that's what I'm saying, guys. I've played too much Hearthstone. My account names and account passwords are Hearthstone related at this point. Like it, it's too much. It's too much. It's an uncomfortably large portion of my life. So much so that when like Blizzard would make mistakes with like things and stuff, and it would be in the PR, like people would blame me for that. Like, I don't know these people. <laughs> and I, I would get yelled at. Shadow item. I already got two shadow items. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm just going to build a IE, I think. And then look for blue buff. Hello.
Huh. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, this is supposed to be in over that. Am I going for assassins here? The one star can't do anything, but it has all my items. Scode just subscribed for 41 months. Welcome back to the back cave team thing. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back, dude. Oh, that's big. We got wicked front line too. We could drop a forgotten unit when we level. I'm looking for blue buff for cat, and I'm looking to drop Warwick, move the item onto like Hecarim, and then add in two assassins. We keep three forgotten, and then we move up to four assassins, and then we try and workshop there into eventually six forgotten. But we'll come back for these veins. We don't need them now, though. They're they're phase they're phase three. We're looking at phase two right now. Phase two is the the, the comeback of Katarina. Katarina dominates the world. Then phase three is um, the rise of Draven. So, gotta go in chronological order. Or we pull a Draven here, and then all that goes out the window. No, we need a tier. We need a tier. Nobody wants this tier, right? If we don't get a tier, we take a shadow item. Stay away from it. Thank you. Alright, this Katarina is gonna be disgusting. Part one, Katarina Takeover, commence. And then we're just getting ready for part two, Rise of Draven. The Rise of Draven. Yes, 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 exactly. Because we need Rise and Draven. Yeah, he gets it. He gets it. He's picking up what I'm putting down. You mean Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne? Dude, that was the best game in the world until they remade it. Made it worse. Killed the community. Now it's Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne. Frozen Toilet. This five for gun. We don't need it though. We're doing the we're doing the Yeah, we're doing the, the switch play anyway. We could guarantee get the interest here by selling the Warwick for it now. But pretty sure we're just gonna beat people up. The Draven guy looked a little spooky, so I tried to position for him. But I think everyone else is pretty manageable. Guess not. We'll find a better assassin than Kha'Zix anyway, right? Maybe we won't. Maybe I should just get that Kha'Zix. I'm leveling, adding this in, and then replacing Warwick with some assassin. Unless we hit, uh, you know, Draven. If we hit Draven, then we're rolling for Six Forgotten. We need Draven and Rise, though, because blue buff. Thank you. 
space and that's pretty helpful actually. Now we don't even have to get rid of the Warwick. Do I make Mord an assassin? Mord's a pretty good assassin because when his other attack crits, it's big damage. And the Vayne came back. I can just put this on Warwick. Now we're not always selling Warwick anymore, right? I should hold on to the bow. Get the A bomb spit. He's doing like what we were doing last game. The A bomb spit. Classic. It's super fun when you get it. So we're gonna disassemble this Katarina. Or we're gonna three start. Maybe it's better to three start since we have the assassin spit. We need a Viego for that, right? I need shadow items more than anything. Shadow Belton. Hey, yo. Kale's not good with Forgotten. Forgotten's about big damage real fast. Kale's about staying alive and making it go real slow. They are total opposites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we murdered that in Italy. Then murdered that. One star Gragas is unbelievably tanky. It'll come back. We need Rise Draven anyway. We actually don't need Vayne, right? Rise Draven puts us up to six, and then we make the swamp. Oh, yeah. The attack damage items go on Draven, and then the blue buff goes on Rise. These get out of here. We're basically replacing these with Draven Rise, and then we're replacing this with this, and then moving the items. But we're doing that at level 8, probably. No, This is our, like, holding formation to get there. It's like, I don't know which one of these guys I'm scared of more. I'm terrified of both of them. I've been positioning for this one, so that's good. Now we can position for the other one. Diana gets no cast still. Mord doesn't even grow. Yeah, his Draven's terrifying. Close. Warwick kills this, maybe? I oh, know. Okay. Wasn't even close. The Mord didn't even go again. Need an attack speed item for Draven. We got all the damage, none of the speeds. So we need the rod. We also have a belt out there that could do something. Belt. I don't need a tier. I'll, I'll take this Heimer, I guess. Worst case, we put RFC on Draven. Like, it's not horrible. Level up the Heimer in. I mean, Heimer's big.
Oh yeah, three win streak. If we can preserve it, it's a big deal. But it doesn't look like we can. Abomination man, too strong. So we lost a little bit of money on that. So it's probably still wait till after creeps roll. We definitely don't want to roll now. We want to try and get as much money as we can. But since we don't care about winning anymore, we just care about picking up the units we need. So we're going to need another Katarina at some point, or a Katarina 3, so we pick that up. We lost our last fight, so we don't need to win. Yeah, I shouldn't have went to 8. I guess I, was, I thought I was stronger than I was. Going to 8 was bad there. These guys are monsters. Eileen and Lexen. And I hadn't played them yet. Indrid. Indrid's really good. But we don't have a rise. Every life. Yet. It's the rise. It's the, the Draven. Yeah, a little bit of damage during the pivots. It'll happen. And Diana is pretty good, huh? Diana, you want Diana over the Kindred? We have RFC, so we can actually just backline this Draven. Kind of nice. I don't know if we even do still. Feel kind of nice to do this. I want to scoot the line over to the right a little bit. We're done with the whole assassin thing. Oh, he's got so much CC left still. What am I doing? I'm doing pretty good, Schubert. Doing pretty good. Trying to figure out... What do we need? What do we need? Do I roll it down? I should... I need to two-star these, don't I? I'm too weak. We're just looking for more than this guy. Mainly four costs. Okay. Now we're just missing one unit. It's a little bit harder pressed to justify rolling. 
I got my comp at 35 life. Up for a rise. My items are okay. Do we have all? We we do not have all four shadows. Kill him! Kill him! Oh, I wanted blood. Yeah, RFC is not great, but we needed an attack speed item. So, what it is, dude. We got one, two, three shadow items. We need any shadow item. Any shadow item will do. Take that, Zephyr. It gives our Draven, uh, you know, our entire team 10% more attack damage and ability power. So that's big. Who do we use after? Mordekaiser can use the hell. Usually you want to try and Zephyr backline. Probably just gonna Zephyr Katarina. Bounce it around. I'm gonna hit that karma. Oh. We're gonna hit this maybe? How does it work? Does it go to this one or this one? Oh, it does go to that one. Nice. I mean, I knew that, obviously. <laughs> Perfect. Now he's coming back down with more attack speed, though. He really didn't clean up a lot of this front line. Yeah. Got, the, got an RFC, too. I mean, not an RFC, uh, GA. <laughs> Mord with the poke at the end for the finish. Looks like we might be able to squeeze into top four. Oh my god, this guy's board's nuts! We can't beat him. The other A-bomb guy looks more manageable, so maybe we can cheese out versus him. This guy we only beat because we zapped for This guy doesn't seem that crazy. At least they're all fighting for Garen's. That's the one thing we got going for us. They're all fighting for Garen's. I can spread out a little bit more, I think. A lot of Karma's. Look at how far away Draven is from the action. RFC pretty good versus A-bombs, honestly. Being able to stand this far back? Holy smokes, did they have to take a journey to get to that Draven. Aye, for the Katarina. Or the Mord. He's an assassin. I think it's Mord. He's not getting the forgotten buff, though. This is probably Katarina. <laughs> Katarina's getting the assassin buff, so she's gonna go burr. He gets this. I need to get this mystic in. That's gonna be kind of nice. Getting another mystic in. I need a bait unit kind of over here too, it'd be nice. I guess the, the bait happens over there when everybody collapses the corner. And then the A-bomb goes that direction. Still Zephyring that, that's good. And that. Yeah, I think the Zephyr is solid. We lose A-bomb synergy? Oh no. Just took a while for the grave to spawn. The A-bomb came up really quick. Bam bam. Off and fury, that's pretty scary. Well, Ty Lee went to nine and got a lot stronger. Okay. I was beating Ty Lee. It changed. Yep, stronger than we think. 
I'm gonna just level up anyway. I feel like maybe some weird fight RNG happened, but I, I, I haven't felt strong all game. But I think Mystics helps a lot versus a lot of these people. Everybody's got Karma and Invokers, except for this guy. Not a bad Zephyr versus this guy either. Get that gear bear out of here. Fresh on point. Got him. Think things are going well this game? Yeah, things have been starting to finally click with the meta for me. Yesterday was really hard, but I'm starting to see the paths a little bit better now. Yesterday was rough though because everybody else had been playing this patch for a week and it was my first day back. So it was, I, mean, I was really behind the curve, but now I'm kind of I'm kind of in this in a more even spot with everybody. More familiar territory. My Zephyrus has been landing pretty well. I think it's better to get the Garen versus this guy than the Karma, but... Both are pretty good. Wow, like, not dying. Alright, we have to Zephyr this guy's Garen, otherwise we lose. Oh no, no, did the Karma get there? Yeah, you have. we have to Zephyr that guy's Garen. Holy crap. It's a must. USS for Viego. I just gotta get a Viego now. <laughs> there he is. Witness the fury of a god. All right, no Viego. They're trying to Zephyr stuff in the middle, I guess. That volley bear out of here. We're just trying to Zephyr the tanks, get Draven into the back line, shut down the back line. No, I didn't think we're falling off compared to everybody else. We got... Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how that Draven lived. <laughs> you see that? Holy smokes. Is he dead? Did he kill the other guy for us? Yes, let's go. That's the first. <laughs> I, I think we were supposed to get third, but we just Zephyred our way into a first. Easy. Zephyrus is broken, guys. Zephyrus is crazy good. You gotta, you gotta get those Zephyrus. After you already got your units for your carries, right? Okay. I don't have much time left on the stream, so we're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna do the ultimate bravery if you guys want to play that. So if anybody in chat wants to join in on the lobby, play a game with with me in chat. I'm gonna have a link just for you. All right, let's see. Create group. Playing on NA. Make sure you guys, if you want to play, put your full username so I can invite you to the game. Don't don't put like you know your Twitch chat name. It's got to be your League of Legends username so that I can invite you in game to the lobby. You do ultimate bravery plus hyper roll. Yeah, we probably could. That, I think that would be really fun. I don't know if I want to... I, I want to try it maybe... I haven't played too much Hyper Roll, so I'm nervous about it. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll do that maybe next time. And let me play some Hyperol first so that I can beat you guys. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, chat might win. I got to practice, you know? All right, all right. Everybody's in the game. It's a viewer game. Yeah, but like, I have to see these people every day, you know? And they're going to be like, aha, Firebird, I beat you. So, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to just welcome that. Kempa. No, no, we, we'll try it next time. Oh, I gotta change the mode. Give me a sec. But yeah, I, I, we'll try it in the future and see how it plays. If it, if it seems fun and people are into it, Maybe we'll start doing hyper-roll versions. But I kind of like the pacing of the regular one, because it gives me time to like look around and talk about everybody's boards. And I like that interaction of, you know, seeing what's going on. Commenting on people's stuff. Whereas like hyper-roll, I feel like I'd just be staring at my own board the whole time. We got a Grandmaster. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's nuts. There's a Grandmaster in the lobby. The sexual staircase. Okay, everybody's in. Everybody's in. Everybody everybody knows the rules, right? I'm going to go over the rules really quick, and then we're all going to push roll, and then we're going to let it rip. So um, once you get... You're going to get two traits assigned to you. You can only buy units of those traits. Um... And you have a king. He's in this big picture there. Your king has to have the most items. And if you ever see your king in the shop, you have to buy him no matter what. So you're always going to try and three-star your king. And um, the only other rule is you're allowed to keep anything you get out of boxes or off the carousel. So, for example, in a previous run, I had... Um, what did I have? I had Nightbringer, Renewer. So I intentionally took a LeBlanc off the carousel so I could access Coven that way. So make sure you, you keep an eye out for fringe synergies that can help you snowball the mid-game uh, off the carousels. That's, that's super important. So you can keep things off the carousel and you can keep things out of the boxes in the first thing. But anyway, good luck, everybody. Let's uh, press the roll button and see what you get assigned. Redeemed Spellweavers? I'm just playing Velkaz comp. I'm high rolling. We have uh, Sparta with the Renewer Dawnbringer. That's a really good one. It's not bad. Man of War 57 with the Legionnaire Forgotten. Decent, decent. Forgotten's really good right now. He's just playing Draven Comp with the Katarina Gary. I've been doing that half the day today. We have Ranger Forgotten. That's also really good. But your carry has to be Varus, so it can't be the Forgotten. So that's a little weird because you're not going to be able to capitalize on uh, Forgotten as much. But I'll hopefully I hope you get there. And then we have Renewer Verdant over there. Oh, the, the Grandmaster guy got screwed. <laughs> There's not very many units in his pool to grab. A Vixer with the Knight Nightbringer. So he's going to have to get creative to try and figure out some things off the carousel there. Antimatter has forgotten plus Caretaker. Not a ton of units there to work with. And he's going to be competing for the Caretakers with El Tiger Chino. But anyway, everybody has one reroll. So if you don't like what you got, you can reroll it now. So feel free to reroll. I'm going to reroll mine because mine, mine's too boring. I think mine's really powerful, but I think it makes a bad video. So I'm rerolling mine. All right, Skirmisher Nightbringers. We have Sexual Staircase with the reroll into Brawlers, Dragon Slayers, Antimatter with the reroll into Invoker Dawnbringers. Tiger Chino gets Draconic. Draconic's pretty pog in this mode. And it looks like that's where we're going to run it. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Skirmisher Nightbringer Vlad carry. I need to pick up a Renewer for Vlad. Or I get a Renewer Spatula. That's for sure. That's for sure. Wait, damn it. So yeah, Carousel could be important here. But you also want items that are good for your carry. a weird one. Lots of gloves. I really wanted to find a belt if I could have. 
Sometimes picking a Warwick is really good, too, if you have a lot of tribes that are hard to get units for. Because if you don't get something out of the boxes, you can lose to creeps. You can definitely lose to creeps. I don't want to see anybody buying illegal units just to beat creeps. Oh, baby. That's a lot of boxes. Get that skirmisher. I can't buy the skirmisher. Skirmisher. The renewers are not bad because you can three star the one cost ones. Yeah. You can keep your box units. You can keep your box units. They, they can stay. You can try and do stuff with them. Night Blinger. Right At least with my traits. My traits don't work well together, but they, they both have a really large pool of units. So that's not too bad. You losing to the creeps? Oh my god, the Ziggs! Put the tear on him! Put the tear on him, maybe he gets there. Go Ziggs, go! He's getting a lot of good last whisper procs. But he's not making it. <laughs> Unfortunate. I don't have anything. I have knights in, and that's it. I guess this is my strongest, just like generic unit. I got frozen heart or blue buff. What am I trying to build on Vlad? I want like the archangels, right? Vlad's my carry, so I have to try and three star him if I can. I want to get lots of belts on him as well. This Nightbringer. Nightbringer is based on a percentage of health, so the more health I can stack on that guy, the better it's going to be for me. Would you say the best comp is currently? Um, six for guns, really good. There's uh, six redeemed. Really good. Five A-bombs really good. There's a lot of things that are really good. You just have to get the right units for it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to sell my knights. I'm selling this. I've forgotten you stack Draven and Kent. You stack uh, Draven and Rise usually. So you, your ideal first item is Final Whisper. Because Final Whisper can be utilized uh, on Rise or on Draven really well. Because it now shreds uh, AD and it shreds armor and it sends magic stuff. So. Really good. But yeah, a lot of times you put all your items on cat first. You build the cat, do things like six forgotten Katarina carry for a while, and then you get to level eight, and then you build the Mordekaiser and the Rise and the Draven and move the items around after that and remake the Katarina. It's usually when I train to anyway. Dragon Slayer Skirmisher. I want all these units. It's time to get rid of the knights. Here ends the age of dragons. Lock and load. Thanks for the Prime Gaming. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back, dude. Well, here for the first time. It's a it's a brand new sub here just for the TFT content. You love to see it. 
That's that's new growth, baby. Uh, what type of king are you? I'm a Nightbringer. What was I? Night Nightbringer skirmisher, and my king is Vladimir. So, I'm mainly going to be focusing on the Nightbringer side of things because my king has that trait. But Vladimir is like super contested. I feel like other people have him as a king too, because there's many Vlad twos floating around. Here's a Vlad. And remember, we can take something off this carousel to open up our synergies. I could take like a dragon slave. I don't know. My synergies are kind of weird. I mean, I could take a renewer though, so that Vladimir could have a renewer with him. But I don't think there's a good enough one to do it. There we go. We got a flat. We're doing it. It's for everybody else doing. Taking all my Vlads. He's got the Leona carry happening down there with the knights. Yeah, your king has to have the most items. So if somebody else has more items than your king. And then, uh, then you're in trump trump. Get those items in your king. Leave no survivors. They can tie. They can tie. They can tie. As long as as long as they're tied, or they can tie. But I guess you're you're good now. You you're good. They they all have one item technically. The the basic gist of the rule is try and make sure you try and three star your king and. You know, put items on your king. Don't don't like just have your king in as a random placeholder unit and then stack somebody else, because it'd be against the spirit of the game. You know. Mm -hmm. I need to reroll for this blade. <laughs> Maybe I hate rerolling in this mode, though. Especially since you can't just buy like a bunch of one costs to filter them out of the pool. Like so many blades, God. There's so many Yasus out there. Nightbringer feels like pretty busted in this mode, to be honest, because there's so many of them. They're all pretty good. Oh, the, that Varus looks spooky. I think I'm the weakest player. That's not good. That's not good. How am I on a win streak? Two star this five plates. So much money. Anti manager just is holding a land on his bench. There's multiple people with lands on their benches. Why are you trolling me? <laughs> I want to try and get three Archangels on him, I guess. 
Maybe double Archangel QSS. Double Archangel Gunblade? Since I'm not doing Renewer, I'm trying to build Damage Flayed. Warmonks is good though. I think I just want the damage amps though. I really need to two star him. I don't think I'm going to. I, so, like, normally you go Shadow Titans because he has Renewer trade active on him. But I am not going to be able to buy Renewers this game because of the rules. So. It wouldn't be super great, because I can't make him that tanky, because he's not going to be getting the regen from Renewer. But instead, I have Nightbringer on him a lot, so he's going to get percent increased damage from that. So if I can scale his damage a lot... I don't know. <laughs> that's that's the goal, anyway. Some sort of skirmisher front line, with then Vlad, Nightbringer, to, to bring in the deeps. I think I should have built a Shojin though. He, he's, he gains mana too slowly. I need a Shojin on him. Okay. But they already three star to Vlad. Where am I Lee Sin finally can start getting the Skirm angle to connect. Here ends the age of dragons. I don't even have a two-star flag, dude. But I'm trying. I, I think I'm going to go Shoujin, the Archangels, Shadow Giant, Slayer, Flag. See if that works out. And this is for, like, Morgana, maybe. I mean, he one shot things when he can't. He just die really quick. And don't cast very often. Alright, it looks like I'm taking the tier. I could have taken this to try and get him the tanky thing, but again, with the Renewer, I don't think Shadow Archangels is worth it without Renewer. So I'll just do blue buff to try and get a little bit more casts. If I could get dark blue buff, that would have probably been pretty good. Right on. We two star him. Game. Upgrade. Who started Pantheon? Pantheon and Trundle allows me to get Dragon Slayer, which should scale his uh, his damage even more, right? I'm seeing it come together. So the Dragon Slayer trait's gonna give flat AP, and then the Nightbringer trait multiplies damage. So flat plus multiply. The issue is I still haven't found him yet. <laughs> there it is. All right, at least we have a two star. I don't think I'm gonna try and three star it, but I just I definitely needed it to get at least two stars. Restarting is going to be a bit difficult.
He's got two range, so he can hit over the top here. Let's see how he does with this item setup. His Nightbringer got popped. He almost one shot that two star in Italy. The damage cooks. He had a lot of backline access on him though. Probably does better if there's no backline access crashing on him. The damage seemed decent though. So now it's just trying to protect him better. Trying to move up to 6 Nightbringer at some point. I need something, some like ranged Nightbringers that can draw aggro, would be nice. We don't need Darius because we don't need Armor Pin because we're AP damage. Those are nice. Hmm. I don't get stronger until level 8, really, so I'm just waiting to level 8. I'm trying to figure out something to do with these items. I want to BT the Pantheon. Make him more tanky. Yay, the Morgana. Make her more tanky. Now she should pretty much always get the stun, which should help protect the Vlad. God, I wish I had Shoujin instead of Blue. With Shoujin instead of Blue, this might actually be legit. How's the Grandmaster doing? Dragon Slayer. Ooh, Grandmaster getting beat up? He's got no money? Ooh, Shadow Morellos? I love to see it. We could do this, the Banshees fail, so that Vlad's immune to one cast to help him a little bit get going. It's the Morello. Chaos will I want a guy with range one here, I think, so that it steps up. So Vlad steps up into the tile where it's at, and Morgana doesn't step up. Or if something's here, they just hit it, right? We need a range one guy in front of Vlad, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if he was three star, we'd be we'd be big chilling actually. I appreciate it. It's like Kank, thanks for the kind words, man. All right, it cost me like nothing to level up, so I'm gonna level up. I need to get a two star trundle. There's all these three stars, a two star trundle would be nuts. Let's put more one range things in front of Vlad. Yeah, she just always leave Pantheon in front of Vlad. Maybe she just move as a unit. The Archangel's Warwick. Love to see it. But Pantheon's just nuts. We gotta do is make Pantheon a Nightbringer. That's the move. The next step is 
we get in Elios or Diana. If I can get in Diana and then find a, I get a Mord off the carousel. So all right, I want to take this Mord. If nobody needs it, and I can get four Dragon Slayer in, it would be sick. No. I need tank items. Take this though. Darn it! Sexual staircase. Why are you taking my dragon slayer buff? I could have four dragon slayer. Fifty-two to level. We're leveling after creeps. Yeah, if I get more out of a box or something, getting four Dragon Slayer. Because then that's going to that's gonna scale this guy's AP up a lot. Then we really shred. Alright. Randall's going to live to get the case. Oh, he's not even targeting the right thing. Back to the right. If this was a three-star Vlad, this would have actually been kind of sick. Sugar Shark 666, thanks for three months. Welcome back to the back game. Team Dingman, appreciate the support. Glad to have you back, dude. Alright, Vlad. Scale up. Archangel's just gonna keep ticking up as we both stall out forever. Yeah, this should be kind of grindy, because he's pretty durable and we're pretty durable. <laughs> Morgana with the Morellos is just the most impactful thing on my team. <laughs> It's not even the Vlad, really. It's just Morgana with Morellos is nuts. I can eventually drop this and go 8 Nightbringer with uh, 2 Dragon Slayer and just not care about the Skirms, right? I haven't even actually looked at the mini expansion for Hearthstone yet. Actually haven't. It's kinda crazy. Alright, so next step is go 9, replace this with Diana, add this in, and we're good. That's how we get stronger. Other than that, we could try and two-star this, but it doesn't matter, we're replacing it anyway, right? I, I don't know if the Hearthstone mansion's bad or good, it's just... I've been just really burned out out of Hearthstone. I've been... not really playing it much. They had no impact on the game? Well, that doesn't sound very good. I versed the this guy. There's a sexy pantheon. 
God damn. I hope my trundle one just trundles it. Come on, trundle. Drink him. Oh, it's not that guy. Drink this guy, trundle. <laughs> He's drunken. I don't think we can capitalize on it and kill it. Yeah, we got it, maybe. Oh! It's close! Got it. Look at that, Vlad. Big damage, Vlad. <laughs> it does so much damage. <laughs> what a weird way to build Vlad. If, if, only I, if only I had a Shoujin instead of blue. Or if I had dark blue. Dark blue would be sick, because Nightbringer would activate, right, when he falls low, and then he would just dark blue shotgun things. Yeah. I think I trolled by not having dark blue on him. I can't get first. That positioning was not what I wanted to have happen. Fine, I guess. He threw the Pantheon over here. Acting the Vlad again. <laughs> I love it when Syndra accidentally fixes your positioning. Make him charge up a little faster. We're in the spirit of making the king good. This is also a renewer. I could have renewer synergy on my. We could drop Trundle. Make Vlad a little bit uh, more mana. Then the last ad would just be the skirmisher then. And we're just going six Nightbringers, even Renewer in for the mana gain. It is nice. He's casted a lot more. Yeah, I think the Renewer ad was sick. That's what we needed to string it together. The carousel. Man, they can't buy this, dude. If we could get four Dragon Slayer, it'd be sick. I don't even have two Dragon Slayer right now. I haven't been able to find a uh, Ayana. Right, where's there, everybody's damage is on like the right side, except for this Pantheon. That three-star Katarina is so spooky. Kill the Katarina, Vlad. Get it! Yes. Alright, one life down. <laughs> Get out of here with your three-star Katarina. There's no match for my Vlad.
we rebuild? If we rebuild, we can get the Shoujin on. I'm at level 9, I'm never finding a blend. <laughs> Why? Oh yeah, you can't sell your king either. It's against the rules, so you can't rebuild. The king, the king is committed. Alright, I don't need Aphelios anymore, right? I think we're sticking with the Renewer game plan. For all this crap on Tyrius. I threw it on Pantheon, actually. Can't buy that. I can buy this, though. Where is... Pantheon? And then somebody gets a Shoujin? The Armor Shred's not super impactful. Might be Yasuo gets the Shoujin? Or it might be just Morgana, so she casts sooner. How often is Yasuo really living that long? The three star Dawnbringer Syndra? Dude, that's clutch. How many Dawnbringers does he have? He's got six Dawnbringer with it, too. That Syndra's disgusting. The Karma's still out damaging the Syndra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Karma might not be the best carry in the world, I guess. I mean, uh, Syndra. Oh, just the Syndra passed it though. Eventually, Syndra is more durable. Oh. Where did my Vlad go? It was like a four thousand damage throw. For a moment, he was there, and then he was gone. Syndra was nuts, dude. Because the Dawnbringer scales a bunch of percent damage on it. Classic Lissandra setup. Yeah, my, my two-star Vlad's not doing it. I, I don't think this is going to be a first. This is a top four. Two star Vlad's too small. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to do this. I guess it doesn't really matter. If I'm keeping the Renewer, maybe I drop the Renewer. Drop the Renewer to get the 8 Nightbringer in. We could try it. It's going to make, make my Vlad cast a little bit less, but he's going to get more shield and more damage percent. I think the Renewer was better. I think the Renewer was better. I regret immediately. Top four, though. We made it into top four. Is there a Renewer here? There is. You go back to Renewers. It's a worse Renewer, though. By, like, a lot. A good Darius item, right? Maybe we can just keep Lisa in it. I 
think we need the Renewer though. I think it's too important. The Diana ult was huge. Get away from my Vlad! Come on, Vlad, you got this. Just one Pantheon. Just one Pantheon. Est? Yes! Your Pantheon is no match for my Vlad! Full damage, Vlad, let's go! Yeah, that was pretty close. Oh my god, the final. This guy's been beating me left and right all over the field, though. It, it, we probably have to get this trundle in. That's good. Front of the Garen. I didn't see there's a thresh hook on my my Vlad. That's not good. Come on, Vlad! Come on, Vlad! Come on, Vlad! It's happening! No! It was so close! <sighs> EG. Watch Waterboy, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Back Cave team thing, man. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you here. It's so close. If Vlad was if my king was so contested, that was tough. That was tough. So yeah, I was skirmisher Nightbringers. We had Sparta on the Renewer Dawnbringers. Man of War with the scary Katarina. Metrum with the really nutty Varus. Sexual Staircase with the Mantheon. But it was Exver that won the lobby with the Leona carry. And that was a meaty Leona. We had Antimatter with that, that sexy Syndra. That was a pretty cool Syndra. I, it took a little while to ramp up, but once it got going, those were some 4,000 damage chucks. And then uh, El Tiger Chino with the Zyra. GG's, guys. Anyway, that's going to be the end of my stream for today. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the support. We had some good games today. Good games today. What did we end up at? I started at like 50 LP. Because yesterday was a rough day. But I climbed 100 LP today, guys. That, that's a big pog. Happy Tuesday. But anyway. I will see. I have to quickly grab lunch. And then I'm doing a coaching session thing. To try and learn how to play the game better. To try and make it to Challenger. And then after that, I'm going to the gym. So I got a long, productive day ahead of me. Hopefully you guys have a good day too. That was it's good that I climbed today because it's it's always sucks when you have a, you're super busy and then you do bad on stream, and it's easy way to make a bad day. But I crushed it today, so I feel good. I'm excited. I hope you guys have a good day too. Take care.